Uh, so, John, do you want to tell us what happened today? Oh, I've got stories, guys. I've got stories. So I don't mind. I'm going to go back a couple days because I actually don't mind telling you what I heard. I So I go into stores with my job at Lego, and I'm like a merchandising rep. So I talk to the store managers and stuff, and we talk, discuss what's going on with new product. And I happened to be there last week at the same time as the Hasbro rep was in the store. And him and I got talking on our own. And um, he basically was saying that he has not seen any product in any store more than just one case occasionally. And they are not shipping out product. They just are not. And it's been months. And uh, so he basically confirmed that there's nothing coming out. There's nothing being shipped to the stores. And he's just as frustrated as we all are. And he agreed 100% with the fill the pegs uh, promote like thing. If we if we keep doing that, he said that's the only way they're going to listen. So everyone all over the country has to do that fill the pegs thing, and that's the only way Hasbro's going to listen. But then something else happened. I was in a store, another store, and the regional manager. Well, I I'm just he was he happened to be there while I was in the aisle, and he walks in with the store manager, and I know the store manager of that store from talking to him before. And he comes down and he's like, oh, you got to check some of these things out. And they're scanning the, the labels on the shelves with the barcode reader that Walmart has. And the, the regional guy's like, well, what about, you know, he goes, oh, don't worry. He's okay. He's the Lego rep. He won't, he probably does this himself. You know, he's like, oh, because everyone who's, you know, who gets in and sees the toys first are probably doing this. And I start perking up, like, what are they talking about? You know, and, and he's scanning them and looking in the thing and he's going, so you want to get this one right here because this one sells. And the other guy's looking on his phone and they're like, look it up. This one sells for like $100 on eBay. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you're right. And then he's like, yeah, and if you get the Gwen Stacy and the uh, Red Ninja from this set, the Marvel ones, he's like, look at those. And they're like, holy cow, $40, $50. And they start laughing. They're like, how can these be selling for so much money? And they and they start they're, – they're basically openly discussing how – the managers of these stores are going to buy up all the ones that are high value and sell them themselves on eBay. Wow. And, uh, and, they're, wow. and, he, and they're, they're showing each other which ones are hot ones to buy. And they're scanning them to see which stores nearby have some in stock so the managers can get them before they even go out on the floor. Wow. So that really pissed me off. I'm just sitting there going, oh, my gosh. So I emailed um, – Walmart and Hasbro and told them what was going on. I found their customer service and I emailed them, wrote it all up and I emailed them. I said, and I know the guy's names. So, cause I even went and introduced myself to the regional manager <laughs> afterwards, you know, and was like, yeah, I'm your Lego rep and blah, blah, blah. So I got their names and I emailed their names out and everything. So I don't, well, I haven't yeah. heard back. I haven't heard back, but I don't know. And then, uh, and then just today, I was at a Walmart and I'm talking with the girl and there's no, I was doing our Lego stuff and I was like, Hey, I happen to notice there's no, there's no Hasbro stuff. There's no star Wars. There's no Marvel legends. There's no, like there wasn't even power Ranger lightning collection. I'm like, there's no transformers at all. And she's like, yeah, we gave up on Hasbro a few weeks ago. She's like, we're done. She goes, they have not been in, in two months to fill those shelves. Nothing has come in the store. So I just rearranged it. We took the labels down, and now that's going to be like the the stuff that's selling, like Batman and the multiverse, and we're going to fill it up with that stuff because that's showing up. We have extra boxes in the back, and there's nowhere to put them because they're only supposed to be allotted these three peg holes, these lines, you know. So now we're going to expand that to five or six and take over where Hasbro would have been because they're not bringing the stuff in. So the store I was at today, they've lost – Hasbro's lost the space. The store just decided to kick Hasbro out, and they're done with them. So wow, Thanks. wow! I was so in a, I'm like, uh, I was yeah. in a Mar in a Walmart today that the Marvel section is almost gone. Yeah, but the Jurassic Park section went from four feet to six feet. I've yeah. noticed that. I've noticed that. Yeah, yeah. That the Jurassic Park got bigger. He throws it, doesn't it? Yeah, and Walmart so that, that out. makes sense Bro. that they're shrinking them. They're just like if they're not going to bring, if they're not going to send us the product, why do we have a big space that's empty? So yep. they will. She's like, I'm just kicking them out, and as long as she goes, what if they someday bring back product? She's like, then maybe we'll put it where it's supposed to go. But 
for now, she goes, we're, we're kicking him out. She well, goes, yeah, she's just starting. sick of it. You know, realize it's embarrassing as well, isn't it? Yeah. It, it is, Matt. We've said that, haven't we? It's embarrassing. Yeah. Must be for him. But I was like, what if more Walmarts start doing that? I mean, yeah. and then Hasbro loses their shot at even having things to sell there, you know? Like, they, they could lose the whole Hasbro account. Post, John, won't they? they sell it all in Hasbro Post. You know, which yeah. You're to get it off there. Especially yep. yes, in the UK. So. The same thing is happening at a Target near me, but it's with Funko. They went from having a, a like a twenty four foot section with Funko and NECA to eight feet, four wow. feet for right. Funko, four feet for NECA, and they filled it with all this TV stuff. And I asked, and they said, "No, that's all supposed to be Funko." They haven't sent us anything in weeks. Wow! And we can't have eight to twelve feet of just blank wall, empty space. Yeah. Mind. And so they just yeah. started filling it up with with hey, stuff Jim. from the TV department and. You know, they made a little clearance section for books. And this is this is going to make us money, as opposed to empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you reckon's next then? Well, I mean, what, what, what? I mean, if this is the case, what's not? Is it just all just going to be online? Do you reckon? Well, I mean, like if if more WalMarts do what this one's doing, I could see them eventually pulling the whole account and just saying, "Listen, if you can't supply the demand, exactly, you're just you're just going to not do Walmart." You know. Well, you can and see. Wal the Walmart as a company would pull the account and just say, Hasbro, we're not doing yeah. this anymore. Or you could and then, yes, Hasbro, Hasbro would like, have to sell online. Hasbro could have those, or they, Hasbro would just turn up with those pallet things, wouldn't they? They'd just push in, rip the cover that might, That could be too, yeah. Dump yeah, that's right, Matt, dump yeah. It, dump it in the thing, and then that empties, isn't it? And that's yeah, it. and when that's empty, it's done. Yeah, that, wow. could, be, that could happen also. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's happening everywhere, Keith, you're right. Because you know, yep. John's one state, you're in another, I'm in another. It's, I mean, obviously, the two boys at the top, it's Scott, none of us can find anything. None of us. But the Hasbro rep did say that fill the pegs was a good idea. He was 100% behind it, and he said that's the only way they're going to listen is if we bombard them. He goes, do it every day and just bombard them with hundreds and thousands of fill the pegs. And he goes, and then they'll start listening. They'll actually just have to, yeah. you know. Well, that's the thing too. I mean, we can easily blame these managers at Walmart and say that, but if they put more product in the boxes instead of one per box, two per box, yes. it, it wouldn't really matter. I'm all yeah. for listen. If anyone wants to make money, I'm not bothered. I mean, I'll never scout. It's not in, in me, but if people want to do it, fair enough. But what pisses the rest of us off is that we can't find them. You know, yeah. if they put four or five in a box and the, the manager took one or the regional manager or whatever, then it, exactly. It's, well, they're not people away from the pre-orders. Yeah, I know. Some people away from those Christmas buddy figures. Yeah, daft in it. They're not scalping. What the hell? If you make enough of the product, they're not going to scalp it because they're not scalping He-Man or Skeletor because they made plenty of Mattel made plenty of. That's what they need to do. They need to do Mattel do just put loads in the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but even that with Mattel, I've got to be honest. You know the, that that rep last year at Toy Fair said, "Oh, you'll definitely find them. We're not. We're, we're going to put them everywhere." And they have done, but it's always yeah. He-Man and Skeletor. Yeah. I got the first wave when it came out, and now what looked to Matt Wave Four, and I've still not, I've still not seen the Sky Sled, which I really, really want. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Panther, yeah. I've not found. You know, but in, in Wave that, Two is they did that originally with He-Man. They put Skeletor and He-Man out loads, didn't they? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the problem, and, and especially at Walmart, Skeletor is its own case. So yeah. Let's go. So yeah. If, yeah. if they keep filling the pegs, then there are no, there's no skew holes for the Wave 2 or yeah. the other figures because now the computer thinks that you already have 26 of these. You don't need more of these. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the computer doesn't reorder what it doesn't know. And yeah. so every time they sell three Skeletors, they get a case of six back and it just it, it's mind-boggling yeah it is though because the problem with that is now that you, you i'm just gonna throw a name out there you'll see roboto for 30 dollars online because you can't see him in the shop so yeah. now straight away people are thinking all oh, right so when people do see it in walmart they buy it and sell it for that price it's yeah it, you know, it's scalping stock too early. Scalpers, basically too early yeah. for scalpers, exactly. Pay Thirty quid if, for a if, figure. The problem's not on the shelves. Scalpers are going to try and buy it and sell it for a lot more. But if it was on the shelves, the scalpers would be buggered because they wouldn't be able to sell it. Yeah, I was really surprised. Yeah. That they didn't even you know, like initially, in yes, yeah. wave because they they get them the same box set. There should have been a case of twelve that come with like 
two He-Man, two Skeletor, and everybody else. Yeah. So that you were still getting a good assortment every box. Instead, you're getting six He-Man, six Skeletor, and Target duplicated that mistake. And it it's horrible. But at least they, they get Panthors every once in a while.